layered security. This is what it's about in understanding how the bad guys are attacking us. This is a battlefield and they're charting it out in the deep web every day. Our average customer is experienced a 44% increase in malware year over year, 117% increase in ransomware. If you looked at some of those new ransomware attacks at the level we do, they're sophisticated and they are completely embedded with phishing and trying to get in. You can see encrypted threats up 62%, phishing attacks up, ATP now just on the three traditional engine types, hypervisor, emulation, and virtualization, a thousand a day. And by the way, that doesn't include RTDMI. That was about 12,000. In the last quarter, that went from 12,000 to 52,000 never seen before malwares that no one has caught governments, competitors, or others. So this is how the threat data comes down in a real cyber arms race. You got 9 billion malware attacks, a 44% increase year over year. Our firewall deals with 21,900 of those per customer a day. 680 ransomware, 18.6%. If you just have the firewall on, but you don't put it in cover on non-standard ports, you're not safe. Most of our competitors fail on putting firewall on non-standard ports. What non-standard port means, if it was HTTP, standard port is port 80. It's where people mostly configure things. Non-standard port would be any other port for HTTP. For HTTPS, standard port 443. Non-standard port, any other port. Malware writers know this, and they'll make their malware connect to their malware droppers and infrastructure on non-standard ports. And if your firewall doesn't analyze non-standard ports, it's a huge gap. You would be surprised at the names that you might think of that you would think they must cover that. Go look at the NSS reports. They don't. It's a big gap. Tell you why a lot of them don't turn it on, because as you cover more ports, what? Performance goes down, which leads to the second radar and, and threat, which is DPI SSL. We now have an SSL certificate in Capture Client. That SSL deployment got a lot easier. Yeah. But look at this, people. Over a thousand threats a customer. If you have a connection using SSL, it's encrypted. If malware is utilizing a connection like that, you don't get visibility into the connection, very simply, without DPI SSL. Oh, that's right. Nothing else will help if it's still encrypted. It's, You've got to deep packet inspect first. It would be like you're blind. Yeah, exactly right. Email security. Email is the number one way people come in uh, still, uh, either through phishing, well phishing, uh, or just plain email. And they come in through the email itself, they come in through the identity part of that, they come in through the PDFs, and they come in through Office and the holes in that itself. 3,200 phishing attacks a customer. I mean, we've got one of the best email platforms in terms of capabilities, but our appliance base and our software base, virtual piece of that, world class. Yeah, since, uh, since email and put security. Yeah, go ahead. Since email security 9.0, it has integrated capture, so it's got all the analysis that happens locally in the solution, and then it reaches out to capture and does the capture analysis. Yeah, and then here we go with capture. Just on the traditional sandbox engines, virtualization, hypervisor, and emulation, we're up to a thousand a day. It's doubled in a year. A lot of that technology is now is all our technology uh, in terms of that. And then real-time deep memory inspection, 52,000. I'm spending a lot of time with governments and, and enterprises behind the curtain on what this is finding. And there's three key findings. One is largest three items our office, uh, in terms of uh, vulnerabilities that aren't being seen by traditional sandboxing, two PDFs, and increasingly now side channel attacks, and just weekend before last, the fourth iteration of a side channel on the Intel chip. So you've heard a meltdown, you've heard a specter, you heard a foreshadow, the last one just came. RTDMI is gonna be the most important thing for SMB, enterprises, governments. The next two years, these unknown malware attacks through PDF, Office, and importantly, side channel, are going to be dramatically increasing, and they're gonna be extremely 
dangerous. And that's why we painted this capability behind every solution we have. And then the last layer for the customers is Capture Client. And that's where we've coupled the endpoint, you heard with the SSL piece, behavior, deep learning, uh, analytics on the client piece is coupling that back to the cloud piece. And the important part here, when you're in this layer, you're in an enterprise, it's kind of your last stand. Uh, and you can roll back and if something happens, you're there and the administrator can or you can. But it's real value goes over to this side. We're not always in the building, are we? Uh, with all those layers to protect us. I'm surprised how many people are looking at web apps and thinking, not thinking about security. How many people are on the road thinking, oh, I'm in SSL VPN, I must be safe. Well, you're not. <laughs> and that's where, as you'll see, we're really focusing on web security and web app security. We've got a WAF now that you can go extend. So it's not just the firewall, it's the web architecture and applications we're after. You can DPI SSL it, you can put capture behind that, and now protect those web apps. We've got SMA too. So when you're at Starbucks, when you're at the airport, you don't have all those layers. You've got maybe SSL VPN, which limits it some, and, and we've got that there. But capture client, if it's 10 o'clock and you're at Starbucks, you're at your hotel, you're at your home, you're a small business, who are you gonna call? Capture client comes with your ability to roll it back to previous instance. Hugely important uh, for the customers going forward as you move in a mobile world and in our customers travel. And I want to take a moment on Capture Client. Capture Client, of course, runs on Windows. It also runs on Apple platforms. And this client runs on your laptop, PC, server, and it analyzes the programs that are running. It actually provides the management in the cloud and you can actually go in the cloud and see what programs are running there. That analysis is occurring uh, using behavioral knowledge, machine learning knowledge that's local, but in the latest version of Capture Client, it also adds communication with the Capture platform. So we have machine learning going on at the client in combination with analysis and machine learning and sandboxing and RTDMI of the information that's on the client than happening in the cloud. It's a powerful platform and it's something that you need to protect you, especially when you're outside the firewall. You should really, if you haven't checked it out, if you're not running it, you should get it. It's very simple. You just go to your firewall, do a free trial, click on the link, go install the client, take a run at it. Our vision, automated real-time breach detection and prevention. We've updated the critical components as we look to the next 12 months. So you can see stuff like Security Center, incredibly important because we're now bringing this platform together across all kinds of things. Let's just look at that. At our core, real-time deep memory inspection. We've got artifacting happen on any data files. Using that deep learning, we've now got hundreds of thousands of terabytes of malware data at that ingredient level for malware cocktails, as I've, if you've heard me talk. On D, please put block to verdict. We run into several cases where people are buying capture, they're not turning on uh, the block to verdict part, please do that, otherwise you're not blocking it till we get a clean verdict on it uh, and block or let go. So platform is everything. All of that set of capability for management, analytics, untethering the features and functionalities of the firewall and the cloud, and providing the analytics. We are really going after that, but what you're gonna get really impressed with equally is the visibility. Now, here's how you need to think of this platform. We've got all this cloud capability, and think of all this stuff that Sonic Core touches uh, in Sonic OS going across our appliances, our Wi-Fi, our endpoints, our email, our IoT, soon-to-be devices, and cloud apps. That is how we architect our solutions to protect you. And those are all the pieces where we're putting capabilities on top of the endpoints, if you think of a network or Metcalf model of network endpoints. 
Endpoints can be the appliance. Endpoints can be an endpoint. Endpoints can be an access point. Endpoints are going to be uh, an access cloud point. Uh, it can be uh, your web. That's how all this starts to put together in terms of protecting a holistic management platform, security platform for you to manage to.